Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. In this frame, we are going to find the collapse load. Let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD and there is a beam BC. In the columns, there are no loads. In the beam BC, we have a central point load 2W. In the joint B, we have a nodal point load W. Height of the both of the columns is L upon 2. Length of the beam is L. In this frame, in the columns, there are no loads. So, there will be no column mechanism. In the beam, we have a point load. So, there will be beam mechanism. Additionally, we will have sway mechanism and combined mechanism. First, let us see the beam mechanism. In this mechanism, in the joints B and C, we will have plastic hinges. The third plastic hinge will occur under the point load. In the beam BC, we have a point load which is acting in the center. So, we will have a symmetrical triangle. Since this triangle is symmetrical, the angles in the point B and C will be same. Let us skip the angles as theta. So, this angle should be theta plus theta. We will get 2 theta. Let us keep the displacement as a delta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with a delta, we will get 2 delta upon L. The value of tan theta will be very small. So, tan theta will be approximately equal to theta. In this case, we can take theta is equal to 2 delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to theta L upon 2. Now, let us find the internal work done. In the point B, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta. Under the point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle 2 theta. In the point C, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta. Then we have to add all of them. After adding, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 4 MB theta. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load 2W with the displacement delta. For delta, we can apply theta L upon 2. We can eliminate 2. Finally, for the external work done, we are getting WC theta L. Since we are calculating the external work done during the collapse, we have to mention W as WC. Now, let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta. Finally, for WC, we are getting 4 MB upon L. Now, let us do the sway mechanism. In the sway mechanism, first we have to check the end supports. If the end supports are fixed, there will be plastic hinges. In the point A, we have a fixed support. So, there will be a plastic hinge. In the point D also, we have a fixed support. So, there will be a plastic hinge. Then, we have to see the joints. 
here there are two joints joint V and joint C in these joints there will be plastic hinges so totally there are four plastic hinges let us keep the sway displacement as a delta let us keep the angle in the point A as theta so this angle also should be theta in this frame both of the columns are having the same height L upon 2 so the angles in the point D and C also will be theta let us take this triangle in this triangle tan theta is equal to delta upon L upon 2 we can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with a delta so we will get 2 delta upon L we know that tan theta will be approximately equal to theta in this case we can take theta is equal to 2 delta upon L from that we will get delta which is equal to theta L upon 2 now let us find the internal work done in the point A we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta in the point B we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta in the point C we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta finally in the point D we have a plastic hinge we have to multiply MB with the angle theta then we have to add all of them after adding we are getting 4 MB theta now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load W with the displacement delta for delta we can apply theta L upon 2 now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done we can eliminate theta and take 2 on the other side 2 into 4 we will get 8 so for the collapse load WC we are getting 8 MB upon L now let us do the combined mechanism in the combined mechanism we have to combine the B mechanism and the sway mechanism in the B mechanism and the sway mechanism in the joint B there is a plastic hinge but in the combined mechanism in the joint B there will be no plastic hinge we will have the plastic hinges in the point A under the point load in the point C and in the point D so there are totally four plastic hinges let us keep the beam displacement as a delta and the sway displacement as a delta 1 let us keep this angle as theta since both of the columns are having the same height L upon 2 this angle and this angle also should be theta in the joint B here we have 90 degree if this angle is theta this angle also should be theta since the point load is acting in the center we have a symmetrical triangle so this angle also should be theta and this angle should be theta plus theta we will get 2 theta let us take this triangle in this triangle theta is equal to delta upon L upon 2 so for theta we will get 2 delta upon L from that we will get delta which is equal to theta L upon 2 let us take this triangle in this triangle theta is equal to delta 1 upon L upon 2 so for theta we will get 2 delta 1 upon L from that we will get delta 1 
it is equal to theta L upon 2. Now let us find the internal work done. In the point A, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta. Under the point load, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle 2 theta. In the point C, we have a plus T hinge. We have to add these two angles. So theta plus theta and then multiply with the MB. Finally, in the point D, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta. Then we have to add all of them. Finally, for the internal work done, we are getting 6 MB theta. Now, let us find the external work done. First, we have to multiply the load W with the displacement delta 1. Then, we have to multiply the load 2W with the displacement delta. Then, we have to add both of them. For delta 1 and delta, we can apply theta L upon 2. After adding these two, we are getting 3WC into theta L upon 2. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta. We can take 3 and L upon 2 on the other side. They will come inversely. 2 3s are 6. 2 into 2 we will get 4. Finally for the collapse load WC we are getting 4 MB upon L. We have found the collapse load WC three times in the beam mechanism, sway mechanism and in the combined mechanism. We have to select the minimum value. 4 MB upon L is the minimum value. So we have to select that. In this case, the beam mechanism and the combined mechanism occur simultaneously. So the collapse load WC is 4 MB upon L. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.